hello and welcome back so in this task what we will be doing is creating an API for storing and retrieving student data there are two a very constrained uh, actions that is adding student details adding student marks uh, and adding subjects and auto updating student percentage I will be uh, I will be uh, using technologies like Celery, RabbitMQ to perform uh, asynchronous tasks uh, and RabbitMQ to uh, use as a message broker and Flask will be using to create APIs. So let us see what I will be doing. So, so uh, I am using MongoDB cluster as the backend. So I have uh, given the RabbitMQ broker URL here and the backend URL here and I have created an API. Okay, okay this is not necessary actually. This is this is bluff. Okay. I have created an app uh, using Flask and I have given the URLs and I have uh, created a salary uh, Flask config that is done here. So this is the uh, code which is used to give uh, Flask and salary configuration and I have called back uh, that uh, salary Flask configuration here. So I created a worker seller named salary and a Flask app named app. Okay. Uh, this Flask app has a uh, message broker uh, RabbitMQ and uh, a backend MongoDB. So I have initialized the uh, what do you say the RabbitMQ broker message broker here using the localhost 15672. So now uh, let me show you. Okay. So uh, I retrieved the cluster name uh, in the name of client and I have created a database school DB and I have created collections which are students subjects and sub student marks so I will be sh storing student documents in this uh, collection and subjects document in subjects and student marks uh, in this uh, collection so okay uh, let me show you I am adding student details in okay okay, okay. Uh, let us ignore uh, okay let us ignore no, uh, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm playing. Okay, let us ignore until here. Let us first check about the tasks I have created. So, th these are the name uh, name convention or, or the syntax that we use to create task. That is uh, the ta worker name dot task. So, uh, the name should be changed because the salary worker recognizes the name of the file as the salary worker. So, we have to change it uh, and vice versa. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm creating a student doc by using the input and I am inserting th that collection into uh, the student's collection L like the document into the student collection. So and I I'm also doing the same like getting the subject name and adding it into the subject's collection and for adding the marks what I'm doing is I am getting the student ID like uh, if I get the student name and subject name and marks, I'm getting student ID and subject ID and storing them as strings uh, in, in, in this document and I'm adding the marks. So uh, this is the basic thing like uh, I'm doing uh, the basic uh, insertion of data. So uh, let me show you the Flask API configuration that uh, that will be uh, uh, that will do the job by simply type the URL so by calling the adding student uh, function what it will do is it will call it will uh, like call the function and uh, store it in the salary worker so the worker will uh, check for the uh, tasks and perform the task asynchronously so no worries so if it is done we will return ok if there is a problem uh, we can uh, check in the salary worker if there is a problem so if it returns ok it is ok so ok so ok uh, our, our, our other task is like uh, we have to auto update uh, the student percentage so to do that what I am doing is so uh, let us see here if the total subjects like uh, if the total subjects of the student ID that are given into the database 
is equal to the number of subjects that are already added like like let us say there are three subjects english telugu hindi we have added like uh, before the beginning of the academic year we have added there are three subjects english telugu hindi and we have uh, updated uh, the marks of english telugu hindi the percentage should be auto updated so let us say at the end of the year we have a special abacus subject so uh, we we will be updating the abacus uh, subject in the subject database so to get the percentage one should uh, give the marks of the student in abacus also if he fails in abacus we will be not uploading or if he if he is absent so the percentage will be zero itself so its total number of subjects is equal to number of subjects what we will be doing is uh, we will be calculating the percentage how we will be calculating the percentage sum of the marks by number of subjects so we will be calculating sum of marks by retrieving the data by using uh, simple collection retrieval operations in mongodb and uh, this is simple python code and we will be updating the one document that is with the name student name and uh, the document value percentage to percent which is this thing so this is how we uh, this is how i am uh, performing the flask uh, api so let me show you what i have done so uh, b- before that uh, let me show you what i have done and let me show you what i'll be doing so actually so wait a minute i have to log in so okay let me show you uh, oh sorry let me show you so this is the student id uh, uh clust- cl- cluster i have created uh, and i have given the what is it uh, i'm sorry uh, given the link uh, back end link so this is the student db database i have created and these it has three collections student marks students and subjects so i have four subjects that i have given and two students student marks are only four so that can be added uh, from this uh, I mean any of the students i don't know uh let me check so okay student marks include uh 70 80 90 mm, i think uh, it, 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 the student id is, is all same so so it is it is what it is like uh it is operation that i have done so this is like a database of uh, students the, those are likit and shankar or two students this uh, this is zero so it is not completely updated so it is still zero okay so let us see subjects there are uh, four subjects yes flask celery that would be python because there are the technologies that i have been using i'm sorry mongodb <laughs> okay so uh, let, let me show you uh, okay so okay okay let me show you uh, i will be i will be showing uh, everything like uh, first of all let me initialize the celery worker app dot c l r y r k r log level equal to i n f o okay this should do it yes uh, we have three tasks right so this is salary is work salary worker is uh, on so okay sorry it is not necessary to have uh, that many uh bashes okay python 3 app dot pv so what are uh, i will be doing i will be doing on uh, the uh, the local host room itself so let me show you so this is the url so what i'll be doing is add student values uh, okay okay let me show you the code first right okay so the app root i have given is uh, is that okay uh, okay app root i have given is add student values name email password that i have to give by using the slash okay 
so so let me give uh, the name as uh, okay the name as uh, master email as okay master okay uh, superstar okay password is uh, john 14 okay okay uh, let me type enter so okay so let us check if it is entered or not we can refresh uh, here so uh, yes it is entered okay so let us check in the salary so okay let us check in salary yes uh, these are all the warnings because I am not use, using uh, or deploying the stuff right so okay these are all the ones that I'm getting in the salary worker but okay that, that, that's not a problem okay uh, okay uh, okay let me show you uh, okay uh, there are already uh, many subjects I have added if I add subject and give the name of the subject, it will be added uh, simply. So let me add marks to the second uh, second person, like uh, Shankar Shankar thing. So okay, uh, okay. First, see this. Shankar has got zero percentage. Okay, so if I add the student marks to Shankar, like I have only four student marks for all. Uh, Likit, okay. These are all the same IDs. I have, uh, uh, if, if I'm not wrong, yes, these are all the same IDs. For Shankar, we have to add subject and subject marks. So I will be doing that uh, right now so that the percentage of the Shankar will be auto updated. Okay, let me sh uh, let me show you. So to add, uh, uh, what do we say? Add marks, we will be calling add mark. Okay, is it correct? Sorry. Add marks slash values name subject marks. Okay. Add marks slash values slash name S H A N K A R slash Shankar is uh, slash uh, marks is let's say uh, sixty. So we got sixty. Okay. It uh, it will be added definitely. But okay, C L A R Y salary slash seven seventy. So it is okay. Salary P Y T H O N slash eighty. Okay. Rabbit and Q slash uh let's say forty. Okay. I have added now. So, uh, let us see students, let us refresh this stuff, so that should be updated and yes, it is auto updated 62.5, so this is what we have done. So we can display the mm, student uh, uh, collection also. I have implemented using this uh, app root display name. So let us display the Shankar's uh, collection. So okay, D I S P L A Y slash S H A N K A R. Come on, come on, you person. Yes, I am displaying JSON file. So this is his uh, object ID. This is his name, email, password, and percentage okay so, so this is it uh, i recommend you uh, to go through this first steps with salary to learn more about salary and uh, message broker like rabbit and q and others so it is very simple it is uh, uh, the more you do stuff the more you learn and mongo database is also i know is best one of the best uh, the best no SQL database out there so 
uh, I'll be uh, sharing the link uh, of my github so you can check my code as well so that's it for now and thank you thank you very much